Hi everyone, welcome to Themes Code. In today's video, I will show you how to install WordPress CMS manually on cPanel. So, let's get started. I will go through 5 simple steps. Step number 1, download the WordPress CMS zip file. Step 2, upload the WordPress file on the server. Step 3, create a new database. Step 4, create a new database user. Step 5, install WordPress CMS. Well friends, in this video, I will use Bluehost for my hosting service. It's one of the best hosting provider in the market and it's recommended by WordPress.org. It gives you a free domain for one year, unlimited disk, free SSL certificate and many more features. You can purchase a plan from the link below in the description. It gives you a discount. So let's get started. Let's start with step number one. Download WordPress. Here I'm on the official website of WordPress CMS. It's WordPress.org. To download the WordPress CMS file, here click on Get WordPress and then click on Download. The download is complete as well as our first step. Now, step number two upload the WordPress file on the server. So now I have the WordPress zip file. First, I will log into my Bluehost account. And this is the interface of Bluehost. Very neat and clean. We will go to the advanced tab, the cPanel for Bluehost. The name may not be same for all companies but the cPanel interface is similar. Now look for the file category and then go to the file manager. Now go inside of public underscore HTML directory. It's the root directory for web files and all of our WordPress files will go inside this directory. Let's click on upload. Just drag and drop the file here. This might take a while. To get uploaded so the upload is complete now let's get back and click on refresh okay the file has appears here but sometimes it may take a while to show up so don't get worried if you can't find it right away just reload the page a minute or two later now select the file and then right click and choose extract here then click on extract file so let's close this tab now. Now let's open this file. And now select all the files. And then click on move. So now let's change the location to its parent directory and click on move files. So now let's get back to the parent directory. We don't need this empty directory and zip file anymore. So let's delete them. So our work is complete as well as step number two. Now step number three, create a new database. Now we want to create a MySQL database. Let's get back to the cPanel and look for database categories. In the database category, Go to MySQL database. Let's create a new database. We can see the option here. We have to give a name to our database. For security reasons, try to give a unique and unpredictable name. I'm going to name it XSRT. Now hit Create Database button. And you can see I have successfully created a database. Let's save the database file in a text file. We will need this later. And with this, step number three is complete now. Now step four, create a new database user. Let's click on go back. Now we have to create a database user. And here is the option to add a new user. Let's give a username to the database user and for password, click password generator. The auto generated passwords are solid and critical. We will need this later. So I'll copy the password 
and paste it into the text file. Now check the box and click on use password. Now click this create user button. Let's copy the username and save it in the text file. Well, now we have our database and our user, but we need to add the user to the database, else it will not work. So, let's get back. In here, there is an option now, add user to database. So, here, select the database from this list and the database user. Now click add button. Then you will be sent to this interface to manage user privilege. Here you can check what the user is allowed and what not. We will check all privilege but uncheck the drop option for better security reason. Finally hit make changes. You can see the success message here in the top right corner. So the work is complete here. Now let's get back. So step 4 is also complete now. So finally, let's install Wordpress. Well, let's go to our new tab. Type the domain name on the address bar. The setup page has come up. My preferred language is English. And let's continue. This page says it needs the corresponding information to complete the process like database name, database username, database password, etc. We have already collected the required information on the text file. So let's go. Now I can replace the data on by on. We should change the table prefix to enhance our site security. Just add two or three characters. Now click on the submit button. Now click on run the install. Here we have to create our WordPress account and give some additional information for our website. Give your site name in this field. Give a username for your WordPress account. For the tutorial purpose, I will use admin and for the password, let's use the suggested one. So I am copying the username and password in the text file. Finally, give an email for WordPress to send notification ad. One last thing, never check this option. It will discourage search engines from showing your website in the search results. So be careful not to check this option. Now click on install WordPress. The success message has popped out. WordPress has been installed successfully. So now we have to log into our WordPress dashboard using the username and password. Let's try to log in. I'll copy and paste the username password from my text file. Let's click on login. And I have successfully logged into my WordPress dashboard. So, this was all about how to install WordPress manually from your cPanel. I showed you the whole process step by step. And it shouldn't be difficult for you to do this yourself. If this video was helpful for you, please like and share this video. And if you are interested in finding more useful content like this, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.